This is a pond that I came to in one of my recent videos. Uh, the fishing was so good, I felt like I got cut off early by the sunset and uh, we caught a bunch of bluegill, but I wanted to catch some other species too. Let's do it. Oh boy, there's fish down there. It's gonna be hard not to jig, try to jig these up. <sighs> kind of like last time. Like I said, last time I got cut off by the sunset. This time I'm gonna get cut off by having to go to work, but I really wanted to try this place again. It's gonna be tempting to try and jig these fish. I think I might. See if they remember me from the other night. Oh, here comes one. He's gonna slam it. Oh shoot, don't do that. Pulled it away from me, still wants it. I think he still wants it. Came back for it. <laughs> It's gonna be a repeat of the other night, maybe. Oh, yep, crappie, sweet. <laughs> yeah, you kidding me? First fish, look at that. Pretty nice crappie. They get bigger in here, he does not look very good. He's kind of skinny. Like a bump board today. There's more fish down there, so we won't take too long with this. He's not huge. They get, they get a lot bigger in here, but. Let's see what we got. Oh, he's not bad actually. I thought he was, I didn't think he was that big. He's 13 and a, almost 13 and a quarter. He's just skinny. I just don't like the look of him. All right, sweet. Well, more fish down there. All right, so we wanted a crappie and we got one straight away. 13, almost 13 and a quarter. All right, dropping down. Nice marks. Oh, here comes one. Just gonna lift it away from me. He's chasing that thing. Oh, man. Oh, he bit it. He bit it and I missed him. Let's see if he comes back like the other one. Yep, he's coming back. Oh, he really wants it. Oh, he bit it again. Got him. Bluegill, probably not the, huh? Let's see, let's give him a chance. Oh yeah, oh man, a toad. At least as big as any of the ones I caught last time. Look at how big that is. Whew. Man, that's a nice fish. Let's see if he's long. The measurements on this start at 10, so I'll, I'll go from the 10 mark. Cause I know he's not 10, but he is nine and a quarter. Yep, nine and a quarter inch bluegill. But he's tall and Wow. Okay. My school seems to have taken off. Maybe I'll just whole hop around here like I did last time. And uh, I bet I'll find him. I don't know where our gigantic school went marking anything here either. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This guy's going to come right up and eat it. Yep. Just waiting to feel him. What the heck? Eat it. Nope. Couldn't do it. Oh, but we found the school though. Here they come. Comes another one. Make him chase. Couple, couple of fish coming up. Yep. Doesn't suck, folks. Doesn't suck. Don't think he's huge. Oh, we got a perch. 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 What the heck? We got a perch. A big perch. It's a big perch. Holy crap. It's a big perch. Oh my gosh. Look at the size of that perch. Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me, folks? Holy crap. <laughs> I knew there was a perch in here because I've caught one before. This guy's actually been caught. You can see somebody's released him, but 
We're gonna get him on the bump board. Look at this, folks. Look at that perch. Really nice perch. <laughs> I can't believe that. I mean, I caught one in here before, but we don't have perch around here, really. You gotta go north to get them. So I don't know how this guy survives the summers or anything, the small pond. I don't, I don't know. Let's see how big he is. Man, he's just a fat guy. Jeez. He is 12 and 3 quarters. Just short of 13. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get him back. Sweet. All right, we got the mixed bag going. What was he, 12 and 3 quarters? Does that qualify as a jumbo perch? There's, on the history, I can see a fish down there. It's my biggest perch ever. The only two perch I've ever caught are out of this pond. Caught one a couple winters ago. But I have no idea how they survive in here. I don't know of any other place in the area where I can go and catch perch. I think it might be time for the spoon. I'm just going to lay it down in the mud. And just see what happens if I slowly raise it off. Oh, here comes one. Yep, 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 yep. That got him. That got him. Eat it. Man, he's hesitant. Got him. Bass. <laughs> what is that, four species? That's why he was a little bit, a little bit smarter about things. It's a decent bass, he looks healthy. Now he's actually small, but it's okay. All right, what do we got? Four species on the board? I'm trying to think of what else might be in here. I don't know if there's hybrid bluegill. Oh, crud. Don't take my, don't take my sonar. All right, down he goes. I mean, I've only been here for a little bit more than 30 minutes. And we caught 13 inch crappie, almost 13 inch perch, 12, 12 something. Caught a nine and a quarter inch bluegill, approximately. A little bass. Let's go back in the mud. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes again. Yes, finally, I had to play with that fish a little bit. Is he small? Oh, another bass, he is small. I wonder why he was so... These are these little bass are charged up. Look at that, just a little guy. <laughs> like seeing the next generation come through. There's something. What is that? He's up high. Potential crappie right here. It's a nice mark. Oh yeah, he's gonna eat it. That could be a crappie. Not fighting too hard yet. Oh, I lost him. Crap. I bet that was a crappie. He got caught on the edge of the ice. I saw a silver flash. It was either a bass or a crappie. Shoot. Those high marks are almost always crappie. We'll hop in here. Not going far. I know the fish are around. Well, we've had to use the bump board three times in the first 45 minutes to an hour that we've been here, so. Consider that a pretty good thing. And there's a fish on bottom. That's also a good thing. Stay there, stay there, stay there. Stay there. A couple fish on bottom. This is not the way I remember this pond being in the past. I would have to search for my marks. All right, I'm gonna stop it right above them. And lift off. This guy's gonna get. Yep, doesn't feel big. It takes him a while to bear down. I don't know, it's a big bluegill. He didn't fight hard. But that's another nine inch plus. There we go. More on bottom. I just have a little skin of a wax worm. Yeah, we got more down there, checking it out. Where am I? There I am. Oh, never mind. This guy's gonna come in and eat. Oh yeah, he's 
He's toast. I'm just gonna let him eat it. Oh, I felt him bump it. Yep. Not big. Little bass. That's all right. Nice to see some bass. There's big ones in here, but maybe we need the spoon to get those. I like those, they're kind of cute. All right. So what have we found in recent videos that's effective to find fish and stimulate fish? One is to, if you're, you're catching fish and they all of a sudden get cold, move off about five to 10 feet and uh, just coming at them from a different direction a lot of times gets them going. See, these fish could probably see my other presentation from that other hole, but by changing where I'm, the, the perspective, the direction that I'm coming at them from, that makes it a whole new experience for these fish. I think that's what's happening here. Let's go in the mud, let's see what happens. What the heck, we'll go down and put it in the mud. And we'll lift it off. I got a lot of fish watching me right now. There's one. Oh, he bumped it. Got him. Doesn't feel big again. We got a school of little bass down there is what we got. We'll take them. We will take them. This little bass, where's your mama? Let's just hole hop a couple more holes here. There we go, somebody came right up. That's what I'm talking about. You just change your spot and they usually hit you on the initial drop. This fish is gonna eat. Is he still gonna eat it? Yep, he's still gonna eat it. Got him. This is awesome. What do we have? Not that big. Bluegill. Not getting huge fights from these today. This is a female bluegill. Oh wait, that, that's a hybrid, I think. No, no, it's just a female bluegill, I think. Nah, that's not a hybrid. Nice size female bluegill. Now the school's back. So that seems to be the formula. It's just moving holes. Just don't have to go far. Non-stop. Every time I switch holes, yep. He's gonna eat. Yep, yeah, it's pretty small swimming up at me. A uh, little bass on me now. Little largey, next generation. Didn't realize there were so many little ones in here. Okay, so that's gonna do it for me. I will see you soon back out on the ice. Thanks for watching Backwards Angling. Catch you later.